are starting Donkey Kong Land 3. First playthrough, blind. I don't know this game. I've never played it. We're going to have all new levels, all new bonus rooms, a new item, which you can see here is the uh, border and the Super Game Boy, the clock, uh, which we need to collect all of if we, uh, if we want to play those time trials and get the coveted 103%. So, yay! <laughs> time trials. Uh, also, we're going to have DK barrels and star barrels, so that'll be nice. A little treat. Donkey Kong Land 3, everybody. Just a DK coin hanging out in the water, I see. Places have taken that as the... Whoa, shoot the swordfish into the air. This is a strange level so far, with very little for me to do. Oops. Total recoil. Uh, Fort Knox. Oh, is that a bit much to ask of it? Oh, I walked to the end of the level by mistake. <laughs> Don't stare at chat while you're playing the level. Oh no, I missed one. Where was it? Go, 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 go. Um, Donkey Kong Land 1, I think, might have the best soundtrack out of the three Land games. But I think is possibly the worst game. It's probably the worst out of all of them we've played so far, to be honest. Right, another bonus in here something. Oh, hi. There, there it was. It was right at the beginning, after all. So far, the bonus levels in this one haven't been particularly inspiring. Whoa, your pockets are bulging. Want to play cards? Okay, what have we got here? Banana. Dixie. Oh, hang on. That one. No. Derp. Oh, haven't had a bear coin yet. Oh, hang on. That was the elephant. There we go. And it only took you 69 seconds. Nice. Coco Chanel. <laughs> right, so we've got a split path situation going on here, do we? Uh, oh, something up there. Feels like a fly to it with Dixie situations, doesn't it? Or... <laughs> uh, you still use select. Nice. Why are there bananas in the sky? That floor looks like it hurts and it doesn't. Lift shaft lottery. Well, that one's not quite as clever. Oh, that looks like the way I'm supposed to go. Nah. Bums. Follow me. Okay, you can just do the run and jump. There we go. Oh, there's nothing up there except bananas anyway. Ah, uh, I thought I'd been all clever. I oh, didn't want to land on that thing. That wasn't a rat, that was a hedgehog. We're at 13% already. That is not the solution. Okay, so these things were like virtually impossible to hit. Previously, well, okay. Ah. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, what's down here? Bonus, lovely. No green banana bonuses, certainly not so far. Well, I guess it would be extremely easy to do a green banana on the Game Boy, wouldn't it? Oh no, I've got a multi-path maze going on right now. Oh my, this is uh, quite the complex network of stuff. Uh, if I've missed anything, I imagine it's back there somewhere. This is a good level for hiding nonsense in. Okay, there's a G. So, that is the beaten path. So what's this way? More maze. More maze. So we're now going counter flow straight into a bonus barrel. Perfect. Cool. This Intense music. Uh, is that not like a little platform? Ah, I miss their little monkey noises. This sounds more like, um, I don't know, like a Bionic Commando or something. <laughs> like an NES military game. Epic Game Boy RPG heading to the final boss. Could be. Also, no distinction between green bees and red bees. I was about to say Kitty Kong gets a bad rap, but I think we all know the bad rap's coming up in the next game. <laughs> oh god, have they just hidden it somewhere in a maze? Put your hands together if you want to crap. Oh yeah, this level was supposed to be about the monkeys and they've barely been in it. Jitty jitters. Oh, hi. Sneaky. Oh, you can't jump out of the water there, it is just decided. Oh, hang on, I think this is the, um, the level from the uh, intro screen. Oh, hi. I say, it feels like there's secrets above my head. I would like to be up there. 
Snow. Oh, okay. Straight in a toboggan. I didn't get any bonus levels then. So this one might take a while. See, so yeah, I still think I need to bounce off him. No. Right, can I go back? How far would it let me go back? Well, that was worth doing. I can't see the stars. I can't see the stars. Timing on this is just slightly fiddly. It's got a long run up when you press the button. <clears throat> now I have to get to the end again and then go all the way back. Oh no, now I've got to do it as Kitty Kong. Well, they tried to recreate the uh, snowfall. They really tried. Bless them. This so far has been I mean, interesting because it's levels that I don't know. But this is not a difficult game. This level's got a hidden barrel I haven't found yet, but most of them have been pretty easy to find, and most of them have been pretty easy to beat. I mean, it might feel easier because uh, I have DK barrels and star barrels back. And there's a weird banana here. Why is that banana there? Why is this? Why is any of this up here? Ah, oh, my God. That was a devious one. I knew that banana was suspicious, but grabbing it didn't do anything. Right, who's ready for another matching game? Oh, hang on, one of them the squawks. Okay, I'm not paying attention. Can't use my memory. Yeah, I think powering through might actually be the better approach. There's some retro tunes. Sure, why not? Where is it? No! Ah, yeah, bum bum. I'm not used to this bonus coin being wherever malarkey that this game loves so much. Miller Instinct, there it is. Oh, well, it's going to be an animal buddy, or possibly a toboggan. Yeah, I want my toboggan buddy. Quite a lot of squats in this. Apart from obviously the toboggan, he might be the best animal buddy. Well, there's got to be something in here. This whole area is really suspicious. Can't go beyond that point, which seems a little bit further... There it is. Oh my god, we've got bleak. Oh dear. Ah, that last little angle gets me every time. Oh, got me. There we go. Black Forest Plateau. Now, there's a name I like. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oops. I was like, <laughs> my camera's back. Microphone's back on. Can't be anything else to do, right? Do we like Kitty Kong now that you can't hear him cry? Has that made him more palatable for everybody? Perfect. I don't know, is that rain? Oh, sure, why not? Right out in the open bonus barrels, I'll take it. So, playing these games feels an awful lot like playing um, like Mario the Lost Levels. It's just like familiar elements arranged slightly wrong. Oh, the rat was there. Mm, polar pitfalls. Must admit, the level names are getting a bit less clever. <laughs> The animation on those enemies is actually really good. It's got more frames than I feel like any Game Boy game enemy should have. See anything in that hole? I did not. See something in that hole? A banana. This game's punishing difficulty continues at a pace. Hi, you need a barrel. Where might I find one? There's one. Where might one find? Oh, hello. Just throw some penguins at me, why don't you? It's a weird hole. If I had a penny for every time my proctologist said that. Really fond of massive arrows made of bananas in this game. Oh, sure. There was something hiding in there after all. Do I just need to jump down all the holes? Well, there you go. <laughs> My instincts were spot on. Hang on, oh, I had squitter already. Oh, didn't mean to do that. No, hang on, I've had a balloon. Oh, oh man, my memory. Oh, there we go. 
Oh hi, there's a bonus behind me that took me by surprise. And what are you hiding back there? Ha, <laughs> bear coin. The music sounds so much more like uh, their early work on the NES and Game Boy. <laughs> How are we doing? 40? Wow. Let's admit, the map screens in this game are uh, pretty dull, aren't they? Lots of things starting to rush at me from off screen. Do I want to jump down there? No, I didn't want to jump down there. Oh well. If you get every bonus barrel in a level, uh, or clear every bonus barrel in a level, you have an exclamation point that appears on the map screen. Uh, I'll show you. So, this level for example. Uh, bottom right, you can see I've got the DK coin and the exclamation point means I've found all the bonus levels. When they're not there, you haven't. Uh, the other way is when you beat the level, uh, if you found all the bonus barrels, the flag will be like flapping in the wind. And if you, you've missed any, it will be sagging, uh, which was the same in uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. The exclamation point is actually how you can tell you've gotten all the bonus levels in any of the Donkey Kong Country games. Because uh, normally they just put the exclamation point after the um, after the level name. This is proving to be a tricky one. Here's the most suspicious thing here. That beetle. Most curious indeed. I have to jump to the left, not the right. <laughs> These penguins are not great for Game Boy size screens. Poo flinging monkeys. Why is there a thingy there? There we go. Lovely. Hang on, I'm going backwards. Oh, he's so small and cute. Oh, this, this isn't fun. It's not a very good boss for indicating what's going on. Just can't get out of the way quick enough. Okay. Oh, fine. I didn't need to hit him to beat him. <laughs> Is that going to show up on the actual stream? <laughs> the camera remembers the last thing it was pointing at. So I pulled a silly face into the camera. Oh look, that was nice. Dropped me back on the main map screen so I didn't have to beat the boss again. Is this our first jungle level? I think it might be. Oh, okay. These things are conveyor ropes. Wee. Oh, I lost all my lovely lives. Ooh, oh, the bee. Still missing a bonus room though. Lots of interesting holes in this level that we could jump into. When you were a kid you saw the box up for this game one of those inserts that came with Game Boy games which advertised other games. I thought Kitty was the dad and he was shouting at Dixie to get out of the water. <laughs> well, there's a thing. Well, why, right, okay, that apparently is a thing that happened. We've got crumbly platforms and an elephant. Ah, the elephant can just shoot indefinitely. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger. Oh, no. That was a long way down. But I intentionally... Oh, for God's sake. Where are all those bananas coming from? There's a load of bananas still up there that I haven't collected yet. Oh, oh this... Le I don't like these footfalls. No! Oh, for God's sake. I need Dixie Kong for this bit. What am I using that idiot for? So far, this level is the worst level. <laughs> oh my word, really? Oh, a copter? What on earth happened there? Oh, they hit the floor and crash. Oh, what? Oh, I couldn't go under that. That's not cool. I would always use Dixie if I had Dixie right now. Ah. Well, we didn't get all the bonus barrels. That level was smelly. Uh, apparently the elephant's not scared of mice in this game. Uh, now I'm stuck with idiot baby pants. Now I am... Right, okay, there's the G. And then... There. Oh, there's another blooming maze. All of these underwater levels have been mazes so far. Go faster, kitty god. Where is it? Where did it go? Uh... <laughs> right, where is it? There it is. Why is it off centre? That's a weird place to put it. Oh, that's only the midpoint. Oh no. Yes, I haven't picked up the Game Boy Color version of it. I imagine it's a bit easier to play because you can actually see where everything is. What's over here? 
Bonus? Secret? Secret bonus? Oh, oh my word. This is a long tunnel. Ah. Eat my beak. Oh, bloody, bloody Nora. Your poor kids are bulging. Mm. Which one was that? There we go. Hey, that was the fastest one yet, I think. Carbine Chaos, excellent. We love these crazy owls. Hello, owl. This is quite an intense level with a lot of high, difficult to navigate platforms. Oh, hello, hello, where are we going? No, I don't want to go down, there was something up there. Oh, man. Okay, up. Oh, well, that appears to have just skipped half the level, which I didn't want to do. This feels an awful lot like the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, I can't go back up. Oh, no, it's starting to uh, throw some curveballs my way, this game. Collect the invisible, impossible to see stars. My favourites. Can I jump on you? Okay, not necessarily how I wanted that to go. Don't get caught out by any monsters. Go up, go up, go up, go up, you... The monkey. Avoid the poo. No, the poo. I got hit by monkey poo. Definitely want to avoid the poo where you can. Oh no. I've no. Oh. I think there's a. I think they're throwing coconuts according to the uh, a manual, but I. I don't believe for one second that's what Rare had in mind when they designed it. And even if they swore blind, I still wouldn't believe them. Wonderful environmental effects. I feel like I'm playing a, uh, a next-gen title. Those particle physics. Well, there's a really well-hidden bonus level. No, stop, stop, stop. Right, we're gonna go and explore that area. You just try to rush me through because I don't think. Oh, there's a rat there. <laughs> and it's that kind of top-tier gameplay everyone follows me for, right? There's a weird pit over here. What's in the pit? Bear coins. A lot of blind jumping going on. Okay, that definitely hurts. It just seems to be flying around like an idiot. I can't take note of the electric on its head because when it is visible, its head is off the screen. However, it does appear that I can just duck. Oh, no. Apparently not. What? Hit? What? Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing now? What's this? This is new, and I don't like it. Oh, he's just moving around. And dying. Tin Can Valley, right. This is, I believe, the last level before the Lost World. Tropical tight ropes, that sounds like fun. Oh, hi. You're back here. Where are these tight ropes I've heard so much about? That bee over there is suspicious. Don't tell me he isn't. Oh, that bee is also suspicious. Suspiciously killing me. It's like, hey, we're going to just throw everything at you from off screen on this one. Oh my god, it drops you on the thing, you get one chance. Oh, that is nasty. Oh. Apparently I got the extra life that was down there. There we go. Okay, well, I've missed the K, which is where I need to be. That's why I kept missing it, I kept taking the high road. Oh, it's just in the middle. It's just in the middle. Uh, where are you? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Some of them are very elusive. Which is a bit of a surprise, because uh, the first half of the game, they weren't that elusive, they were really easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dixie wasn't spinning. Feels a bit like I should have a uh, spider or something. There is something up there, and I want to know what. Someone put an offer on our house, and uh, we've accepted the offer on our house, and uh, the race is on to see if we can beat Donkey Kong 64 before we move, whenever that may be. <coughs> what is going on? Why is my... Mm, it feels like my button's not working properly, even though I just cleaned this controller. What is that hitbox? Look, I can see that hitbox didn't count. Ah, lots of one-ups in this level. Give DK to good feel. DK's woolly country. Didn't even see what that one's got. Oh, this is not a colour scheme that is uh, conducive to comfortable play. Oh, this level is hideous. Oh, bugger. No! Stop falling. Did I get the midpoint? I think I got the midpoint. Oh, I didn't get the midpoint. That was a waste of time. <laughs> this background is so busy. 
This is like Donkey Kong Land 1 levels of a, a visual mess. No! Bottoms. Oh, I'm glad I had to go back in there again. That wasn't fun. Oh, this is another awful colour palette. This level is an eye melting level. Ah, I see. Hi. Okay, what are you hiding? Ah, I see. Death pit. There you go, shooty. And sh shooty. One more. Yeah, one more for the road. You shoot the doodly, and then I go up the doodly. I, I had absolutely nothing to do there. I jumped in the barrel and I beat the bonus level. Ugly ducting. Oh, can we talk about the name of this level? What am I looking at? They've genuinely gone. How do we make this game more challenging at the end? Let's arse around with the colours. Well, at least the controls aren't reversed. We've got another maze on our hands. Probably looks better without the Super Game Boy support and I'm honestly slightly tempted to turn it off in a minute. How many colours do I count? The white is the pink. Have they changed two of the colour tones to black? I think they have. Can I not turn it off? Oh no, I think you're right. Ah, there you go. It's because when you're in the water... Right. K. Okay. I'm still at the beginning of the level. Oh, where is me? Don't fly backwards. Okay, where is it? What is this level layout? Oh no, ghost barrels. Oh, another animal friend. Oh no, I missed it. I missed it. I'll just wait here, shall I? I hate these things. There we go. Right, we got the spider. Okay, anything of interest around here? Yes, there is. Hmm. Oh, right. We're doing. We're playing this game, are we? Right. This is what we call silly buggers. Where's my bonus level? B -b -b bonus. Oh, thanks. Anything hiding up here? An N, lovely. Mysterious midair banana. Just need to get to the end without dying. Am I at the end yet? Ay, hey, 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 hey. No, thank you. Why isn't this level over yet? Oh, they threw one of them in. First one of them in the game. You've done everything in the level, now you just have to run a gauntlet to the end. There's lots of edging around, which I'm not a big fan of in games. Sort of like, just edge forward a little bit, don't go too far, you'll run into a paddy. Oh, that works. Oh, got a cog. Oh, wow, they, they put it right in front of the end. That is mean. The next level's called K Rule Duel. We're only 75% done. We're not at the end yet, my friends. Oh, we're in a, we're in a tube, apparently. Um. Uh, can't tell if that hurt you or not. Okay, then one, two, three. And the other side. One, two, three. So we just got a bit of pattern learning to do. Okay. Well, we found the lost world and we got a cast. Ah, here we go. Lovely fake ending for you. So we've got one more world to find everything in, uh, and then once we have that, we should unlock the time trials. I think we need to find all the DK coins, bonus coins, and beat the Lost World in order to unlock the time trials. Like they are the last thing you unlock. You might unlock them just for getting all the clocks, but I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's the other thing, you need all the clocks. Ooh, that's some weird animation, I don't like that at all. Minky throwing his stinky. Copter with a worst hitbox in the universe. Carbines, probably my favourite enemy in all of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, that's a horrible animation, don't do that again. Yeah, bleak twerking, exactly. Wrinkly, I'm afraid this is going to be the last time we see you alive. Has Cranky been in this game yet? Produced by Rare. Pooped out by Rare. <laughs> the end? Question mark? Well, full screen render of K. Rule. Oh, this is not good. 
Those bananas are far too close to be a useful guide for jumping over those things. That is not cool. I stocked up on quite a few extra lives, as you can probably tell. Mm hmm. Double bonus, all at the end. Right, we've got everything in there. Great. Oh, there's a bonus barrel. I would like to ride this platform, please. Right, that's a death pit. Or not, the edges are safe. Whoa, that way death lies. Hooray! Oh, Haunted Hollows is underwater, because of course it is. Okay, so that's a K, so that's the way I need to go. What's over this way? Bear coin, because of course it is. Oh, come on, that's nowhere near me. Okay, that one might be near me. Oh, hi. That was a uh, mean enemy placement slash banana placement. No, why would they put a hole there? Oh, <laughs> that was just stupid of me. Oh, I can't believe I've knocked three of these down already. I think there's only six levels. That, that, that was uh, totally hands off, absolutely nothing to do there. Just edge yourself forward and just keep shooting. And then all the way back over and down. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh no, it's hidden it. Did it put it right back? Oh, they probably put it on that little platform up the other end, don't they? There it is. And then I suspect this needs to go there. Can I tempt you to spend two coins and some useful info? Sure, why not? I need to see 77 bonus coins. Oh, it won't let me play his mini game. So that's how they've locked off the end of the game. Is this a first playthrough? This is a first playthrough. I bought this last year and have never played uh, Donkey Kong Land 2 or 3 prior to this uh, this little whatever you want to call it, this little project. Is this a trick? It's a trick. That's the way forward. And you haven't found anything in this level yet. Oh, I found the end of the level by mistake. <laughs> well, at least we know this level's not too hard. It's just I don't know where anything's hidden. Nice. My instincts are pretty good. Yeah, I knew it. Hang on, why is there a banana in the wall? What's going on there? That is mighty unusual. Alright, I thought that said Goulash Grotto for a second. We're nearly there. We are very, 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 very nearly there. Okay, that wants me to go up, so what's left? Bear coins, of course. Oh, it's stocking me up on extra lives before the final boss, I see. We had one of those levels in the last world. Spit some nuts. Get some nuts. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's you. Hmm. Okay. They're not particularly challenging enemies. They're just really irritating because you can't see them. And they're already throwing their uh, bombs before you scroll them onto the screen. Nice. Now we've just got hedgehogs. Lots of hedgehogs in the ghoulish grotto. Alright. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just throw a couple more of those in. Yeah, we love these guys. Right before the exit. That's all the levels beaten. See what that percentage says. 89. Not going well. Oh, where were the bananas? Oh, no, I've forgotten. There they are. That was the bloody parrot. Nearly, but not quite. My memory's not that good. It's late. I never memorised the patterns in Mario 3. We always just had them written out. That one, and then... Oh, you can cycle around. There you go. Oh, I could get it sooner or later. 91%. Oh, that means it's about to give me a massive amount for doing the last boss. So you have found all my secrets. Come and have a go if you think you're tough enough. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, we're doing lasers again. Ah, uh, hello. Oh, what? That's not okay. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, that was an extra damn it. I'm trying to concentrate on the last boss here that I've never played before. Of course I'm struggling a bit. Ah, oh, he can't... You have to wait for him to go to the edge. That's ridiculous. I mean, it looks like it. I think I just have to stop trying to hit him while he's uh, flying around. Or just do that. Two down. And barrel. Great, now we're into a phase I'm unfamiliar with. Oh, laser. Okay. 
Oh, where's it? Oh, that was it. <laughs> I don't believe it. You pesky Kongs have beaten me again. Take my six watches and see if you can beat the time trial. We've unlocked the time trial. This is it. This is the the end. So we have to beat all these times. Right. Well, that'll there lose me some time. Mm. These are tricky time trials. I would expect nothing less, but you know. Well, I beat it. Oh, come on. Hang on, I'm going to watch that one back because I don't think I I was close enough to... Okay, that was pretty close. <laughs> go up, go up, go up, go up. I feel like we're making relatively good time. Ah, oh, bums. Bloody hedgehogs, man. I need to knock seven seconds off somewhere. The only places I can think of where you could knock that kind of time off are there. This isn't exactly a level loaded with shortcuts. Just jump over hedgehogs. I didn't think there was a chance I was going to overshoot that, but I did, but I still managed it. Okay, good. <sighs> Two down. Right, now we're boned. <laughs> Just need to keep hammering at them until you finally don't suck. <laughs> and or get lucky, and or find an exploit. Those are always nice. Love a good exploit, me. Mm, not quite, but nearly. I need to figure out how to get over those guys. I just need to fly everywhere. Snow physics. There's no physics like snow physics like no physics I know. Oh, you smelly bum. No, I don't want that. Come on. Ah, uh, and that's 33 milliseconds off. <laughs> Dixie, what are you doing? Basically the closest this is ever going to come to a speedrunning channel, I think. No, no, no. Okay, over the penguins. Over the penguins and far away. Oh, stop paying attention. Satsy, stop posting good vibes. You're putting me off with your good vibes. <laughs> oh, still going. We're still going. We haven't stopped. I thought I'd fallen down the hole and I have not. <laughs> Everyone ready for a new level? Okay. The trick in river is to not actually go in the river. Oh, how close was that? What was that? Ah, not quite. Oh, that was close though. Okay, skim the bee. Up there. That seems to work a treat. I think all the stopping for all those barrels was my mistake there. Okay, that one was much easier than the last one. Alright, now these were all horrible mazes, so I'm going to have to find my way through the maze, then find an optimal path. The optimal path might involve waiting for Bazaar. Well, not this way. Good lord. Right, there's got to be a secret or something in here. I think I understand why this level now lets you finish with Engarde. Because the other level didn't. You had a sign before the uh, goal. But you have to beat it with Engarde with a time trial. Right. Right, let's go find Engarde. On guard. Thanks for coming along and uh, watching me fail abysmally a bunch of times. That's what I do best. There. What is that? How do I get that? What is this thing? How do I participate in this barrel hijinks? There was a banana in the wall. And here there's a barrel. Aha, that's not in the wall. There's a nice big space under it. Intrigue. I wonder what that's joined up to. Okay, I have to have finished the level by now. Something's missing. That's, twin, that's nearly 24 seconds over. And I wasn't making bad time anywhere. Let's send up here. Get out of my way. There we go. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get some silly buggers. Ah, suddenly that shortcut makes sense too. Dang it. Bloody monkeys. No, I don't want to go up. I need to stop doing that one. Right, I need to get up past these monkeys safely. Uh, 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 out my way. That's it, isn't it? Wasn't it 122? <laughs> yes. Rather confidently declaring that I am beating this tonight. Uh, 
Okay, well the rope's definitely a bad choice. That's a nice manoeuvre though. Mm. This is the Survive the Bee map. Oh, I don't know what happened there. That hasn't happened before. Wow. The screen doesn't really keep up with you particularly well. Oh no, I don't want to be down here. I don't want to be in there. <laughs> Just plummet to your death. Over you. Oh, that that was it. That was a 120. Oh no, I picked a terrible level to do it. Owl, bloody owls. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Wow, that's awful. Oh, that was close. Can't remember how long I had for this one. Oh, I think that might have been 22. 140. Oh, that was so close. No, 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 no. Yes. Is this just going to be quicker if I don't use the elephant? Hmm. Oh, helicopter. Ah, nuts. Oh, no, that's it. That was actually an effective way to get across that final debris. Oh, no. Oh no, but those things are randomised. Quite a few of these have just been like, if you can make it to the end, then you'll probably manage it. Move out of the way. Mmm. Bloody bouncies. Hate those guys. Oh. Well, that was not pointing the right direction straight away. Just need to be careful about the hedgehogs. Because bloody hedgehogs. And... and shrizzle. Oh my word, I forgot that was there. Okay, under you, over you, over you. Right, good. Don't want to do that. Oh! I knew it. Right, I think that one's done. That one's 145, I think. Most of these have been, like, actually all of these. Cliff Machine, Falls and Cave have all been, if you get to the end of the level, chances are you will do it in enough time. But getting to the end of the level is a challenge. Ugly yellow one, and they are all obsessed with bouncy bouncers because those things will stomp on your head. Right, this is probably easier to take this one. Hmm, what was the time on this one? Oh. Oh. Because <laughs> as we know, this is my favourite level because of that. Oops, no, that's, uh, that's definitely a hole. Yeah, perfect run level. Mm. Alright, see if we can deal with one. <laughs> okay, more or less needs to be perfect anyway. Oh, I thought well, maybe, can I roll over and get under there without jumping in the barrel? Can't avoid that barrel. Damn it. Ah, I went on the wrong side. Okay. Let's go. Okay. No. Yes, there we go. Congratulations, game completed. 103. Oh, I got a big shiny trophy. Oh, I wasn't sure what I was going to get for that. Oh, that's, uh, I mean, it's not much, but it's something, isn't it? Oh, and in less than an hour. Look at that. Okay, well, I'm going to re-enter the game. Go to Cape Cod Swallop. Go to Wrinkly. Look at that time. That is perfect. <laughs> I couldn't have timed that better myself. 4.44. 103%. Right, we've done it. That's the first six games in the series done. I'm going to have to do some sort of like uh, ranking them or something. Uh, yeah, Donkey Kong Land is last. Donkey Kong Land sucked. <laughs> Um, although I must admit, I did enjoy it more this time around playing it. And not just because we were reading the dodgy guide, but I think I was also enjoying it because uh, you can save after every level if you collect all the items in every level. Top of the list is still Donkey Kong Country for me, the original. Uh, I know I only beat it in one stream, and it was easy and it's got flaws, but I could, I would pick up the first game again right now and play through it again 100%, 101%. Then Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. I think, 
and I've, I've said this on stream a couple of times already, I think Donkey Kong Country 2 has a stronger first half, but Donkey Kong Country 3 is better for longer. I think both of them tail off towards the end and kind of run out of ideas and get a bit repetitive. But I think I do still, and I, you know, this has been true since I first played them, that I think Donkey Kong Country 3, I think, is just a more consistent game than Donkey Kong Country 2, which has, like, high peaks, probably higher than the original Donkey Kong Country. But when it's not good, I don't like it. Yeah, I think... It's not an easy, like, two is better than three, or three is better than two. It is a very nuanced position to be in. Any which way you cut it, I think the three Donkey Kong Country games are still the top three on the list. Uh, I know people are like, well, two's the best and three sucks, but that's wrong, and they are so close. Three definitely peters out towards the end, and the whole thing with the banana birds kind of makes it a bit damp and floppy at the end. So yeah, then Donkey Kong Land 2, then this one. This one had more problems than I was anticipating after Donkey Kong Land 2. Donkey Kong Land 2 was so good, like for a Game Boy conversion of a Donkey Kong Country game, and it was such a huge leap over Donkey Kong Land 1 that I had high hopes for this one. Um, and I knew this one had its own world map, and I knew this one, had, I knew about the Game Boy Color version, but I didn't know much about it. And I must admit I was quite disappointed with Land 3. It's got some really ugly levels. It falls back on a lot of the cheap stuff that Donkey Kong Land 1 has problems with. And yet the first half of that game, like the first three worlds in this game were so easy. Bonus barrels weren't hidden. Donkey Kong coins weren't hidden. They were just out in the open. I just absolutely barreled through all of those. The main issues I have with Donkey Kong Land 1 are that you have to collect all the Kong letters in order to save the game. Don't like that. Uh, the backgrounds are too busy, um, which is fine if you're playing on a Game Boy Color and the sprites pop out from the backgrounds, but I, I don't actually like using that color scheme. But more than that, it's the jump. The camera does not keep up with you while you're jumping and you scroll away or fall off the bottom of the screen all the time. It's really annoying. Donkey Kong Land has the most problems. It also has the most original stages and ideas in it, which I suspect are just leftovers from Donkey Kong Country's development. But yeah, okay, so that's my order. Country, Country 3 and Country 2, but like pinpoint needle could go either way between them. Uh, land 2, best land game by a mile. Then Land 3, then Land 1. Um, I would only recommend Donkey Kong Land 2 to someone. However, our journey is not over yet. For next, he's back again, and it's about time too. It's the first member of the DK crew. We are playing Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> and we are, of course, 101% completing it. You tried at least twice? Yeah, I've tried at least twice. I've gotten very close once. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't play it for long. I think I beat three worlds and then gave up, then I came back to it a few years later, nearly 101% completed it, and then just kind of bottled it at the, quite close to the end, and it probably burnt out is probably the uh, uh, more accurate description. Um, but yes, so I'm looking forward to this one, um, although I'm also dreading the beaver bother game, although I seem to remember there is a trick to doing it. Thanks for coming by for this very short completing Donkey Kong Land 3 and I'm going to go and test my N64.